Let's get started. Let's wait. Dragon Ninja, good work. You got it. Hong Pao also. Nice. Gentlemen. And Mega Charts Rex, you were very close. You just mixed up the move order a little. Remember? We have to find the right sequence here. We have one more winner. Who is that? Tactical Magician. Okay, nice work. But the winners are in minority here. KK Pano. Good work. Yeah, whoever first goes. I don't know who got first here on this one, actually, because the list changed. Uh, I don't remember who was first. Do you remember? I think Chess Rai was second. Adi Chess, I think, was first, right? Yeah, I think it was Adi Chess. Aha, uh -huh. and Henry Ersel was number three. All right. So, I'll, by the way, I'll fix this with the chat, yeah? Okay. Just in case. All right, time's up, guys. This was just warm up. This was not so difficult. Let's see what Adi Chess has to say. Okay, Adi Chess, where are you? Uh, you get the black pieces here. Please go ahead, Adi Chess. Um, yeah, I thought it's d3 because, like, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, bishop take b5, bishop take b5. Uh, we have to go d3 there, but then just bishop take d3 and we have nothing, so... Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Just so that everybody understands here that this doesn't work. Yeah, because I will move my king somewhere and like you're saying, I can just take with the bishop. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay, about move orders. So, uh, did you lose the move now or I have to give it back to yeah, you? Yeah, I think I yeah. Did. yeah, yeah. Every time I, I make a move with white, I mean with black, uh, you automatically lose it. So that's the problem yeah. here. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, so we Adi. play um, d3. All right. So if I take now with a pawn, it's easy to understand. Yeah, we have just bishop take b5, bishop take b5, queen d8. And exactly. So You're right. And we just pick up the bishop next turn and there is no check, of course. Aha. And the other way around also, it's not so interesting, really. Bishop takes, it's just... Very much the same thing, right? Yeah. Think that? Yeah, exactly. And you, again. Yeah, queen b8 you... and it's just the same thing. Yeah, nothing happens here now. No. Um, Maybe I... it got a bit confusing here. Even 96 says uh, Chess Ryu. Yeah, I think we got it wrong, the move order here. Aha. So we have to be a little careful here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if we can get this uh, right. Oh, yeah, it's just queen b8, I think. Yeah, I think so too. It's very yeah. important. Now we should play it so that we can take next turn. So it's a tricky puzzle, I would say. It's tricky. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Adi Chess. Great work. So it's tricky and you have to play in different move orders depending on what your opponent plays. So if we do this again, let's see here if we can get this right. We play d3. We wait for them to commit to take with bishop or with pawn. We will wait for them. If they take with the pawn, it's very, very simple. We should take first and then we give check and it's over. If they take with the bishop, we should play here like... Adi Chess was saying we should give the check first and then take. All right. So now what about the bad uh, sequences here? What about the bad sequences? We spoke about, well, we didn't speak about it, but this doesn't work because this is what many people were saying. But I guess you can already notice what will happen, right? Yeah, I'll take on d3. And when you take here, I'm very fortunate to have this move, right? Please let me know if I'm blundering some tactics. No, if you see something that I don't see, Please let me know. But I think this is how white gets back the piece in this variation. And the other variation, how is the other variation? It's if you play, how else can you get this wrong? D3, pawn takes, and if you now play, it's the same thing, right? No, I think I got it wrong. Which, which is the other variation where, when you, where you can blow it? How is it? You play B3 and you queen B, check, right? That, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the other way you can miss it. Like that, right? Because now, no, we already spoke about this. So people were saying queen b8 in the very beginning, right? That's the problem. If you play like this, I play king h here. And if you play d3, or I don't know, what, what else would you like me to say? I think we got it all sorted out, right? We all understand the, the issue here. I think I did this already three times. What do you say, Pikachu? D doesn't this make sense? I think this is uh, okay for white. So that's why queen b8 is bad. Or is there anyone who who doesn't understand this? I'm happy to look at it again.
But in my opinion, we have to play the moves in exactly this way. You play d3 first, you commit them to see how they will take. They take with a pawn, then we don't run into some pin situation here. We, we, we take first so that we can take only when we can take in one. And if they take with the bishop, we play it the other way around with queen b8. All right. I hope that's clear to everyone. Uh, we don't have to do it again, right? I, I mean, I could put it again, but I, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, unless somebody would like to see it again. No need, right, Hong Pao? Yeah, exactly. We, we'll just lose time by doing that. Let's bring up another one, okay? Let's see if we can understand this one the following. So this is, I think it's one of my own games. Uh, but okay, it's, it's a Blitz game, so any, anything can happen. Oh, sorry. Let's see here if we can bring this up. All right, you're playing with the black pieces. I would like to know how you can reach a huge advantage here with the black pieces. So, as always, please be a little careful about the move order. It will definitely make a difference here, the move order. So, let's see if you can get this right. Uh, yeah, we can stop. We can probably stop there. Okay, 2 minutes 30. Oh, gentlemen, you were very close. Just right, you got it. Good work. Okay. L008. Good work also. Tactical Magician. That's a nice piece of magic. Tori Chess, you got it. Good work. Yeah, gentlemen, you blew it there. You will get an advantage, but not as big as in the main line. Aha. Mega Charles Rex, you were very close on this one. Hong Pao, you got it. Dragon Ninja, you got it. Good work. Chess Knight. Excellent. Medina Tiger. Good work also. We have a lot of winners. This one was easier, I think. All right. I'll put two minutes next time. Most people already finished. All right, we have more winners. Pikachu, Kugel Chess, Aditea, Santos, Coagulated Kurds. All right, time's up. Uh, Ryo Chess, or Chess Ryo, you're the first one. So be my guest here, Ryo. Explain to everyone what is this about. Okay, here, um, this position probably is fine even if we don't play it, but like, otherwise we don't really have any advantage. He's probably playing G3 at 4. And we need to take advantage of like um, his pieces here. Uh huh. The so logical idea would be bishop takes d2. Sure. Uh, we just need two c4. Same idea. Um, c4. But first sure. of all, he is not forced to take on c4. And even if he does, I mean, at four, for example, he can have But oh, even if he takes and d3. His bishop can go somewhere else, and yeah, we're much better, but not winning. Sure, and, and I think also, sorry, Ryo, I think also I can play a four, right here. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. A, it's not that bad, I think. Like you were saying, White is going for for f four in this structure, so it's probably not the best move order, right? Yeah, so we play c four first. Uh huh. So now now take is is very bad, right? It's losing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this is just a total tactical nightmare. Aha, uh -huh. we yeah. lose the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh, all right. No, no, it's okay. It's okay like you play. It's perfectly fine. Aha. Uh -huh. But you can also take the other way around. Aha. Uh -huh. So I, I cannot take really. After your move C4, I'm forced to take on F4 instead. And here we had some people who were saying that we could just take back. But I don't get this really 100%. Because I can take. What do you think, Rayo? Um, White is al alive, no? Yeah. Um, we're probably fine, but uh, not better. Exactly. We'll find something better. So, please shoot, uh, Rayo. What? Oh, you're losing the pawn all the time. Okay, do it, do it, please. Okay. Aha. Me, so if now... You, if you lose this queen, say queen d2, then I just take on d2 and I'm better. Sure, way. sure, sure. I must take then on e5, I guess. Yeah. I don't have any other choice. And then I take the queen first? Sure. I mean, take on e2 is fine, but queen e2, queen e5 was slightly better. Yeah, that's it. Somebody said that, but I mean, that's not that uh, big advantage. I don't know. Is there an advantage for black? I'm not convinced. I I'm also having f4 coming up here. At the yeah, very slight, not at Maybe all. slightly. Yeah, but okay, we can win the game instead here. So please yeah. go, he go ahead, uh, Rayo. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not difficult, the rest of uh, the I cannot move it. 
Ja. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Please go ahead. Uh, you have to take the queen of instead. Aha, so we take with the rook instead. Very nice. Now take the knight and then you take the bishop. You're attacking yeah. the rook and the rook. And yeah, this is horrible, of course. If, if, I, if I let you take, it's just bye-bye. The pawn is coming. So I have to play like, like this instead. But this is... Uh, Ma material is, is okay, but uh, the position is very bad after yeah. pawn takes and, and and I guess it, I hear some noise there, Ryu, but okay, no problem. You got us. Or maybe, or maybe I have a bad connection, I don't know. Rook d8. Yeah. So this is just uh, losing for white. They will yeah. never be able to, to really untangle here in this position. So basically that's the solution, guys. Uh, okay, thanks, Ryu. Great work. So we have seen that, like Ryu saying, we have these ideas to toy with, with c4 and d3. But we should play it in this way, when their queen and bishop is still subject to this tactical trick with d3. So we shouldn't play like this, because then we help them actually to arrange their pieces in a better way. We should strike immediately here. And just like Ryu is saying, if bishop takes f4, we can take here intermediate movement. Yeah, no matter what white plays, they're in huge trouble. All right. Any questions about this, or do you think we can continue? Right. I'll bring up the next one then. Let's see what we have here. Some tactics here in this game. Escalante Azarov. Let's see what's happened in this game. I'll put it two minutes now so that you have uh, some more time pressure. Uh, but this should be a piece of cake for you guys. I'm pretty sure. Just make sure, as always, that you have the right move order. So, two minutes and five, okay? Black to play and win. Take your time, guys. Take your time. Don't send me so quickly. All right. Nobody's really close so far. Oh, this was a difficult one, then. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes the bishop is hanging. Yeah, right, uh, Chess Ryo. Careful with that. Oh, this was so difficult. Oh, I think I'll, I'll tell you the bad moves and then you will look for the solution. Unless somebody finds it, of course. Yeah, one more try, I think. You're right, uh, Subham. People don't get beyond. Okay, Henry Arsord, you're the closest one. Henry Arsord is very, very close. So you're, you're the closest one, definitely. Aha, uh -huh, my bishop is hanging. Yeah, that's right. So, just at the end, Henry Arsord, I think you can adjust the move order. All right, let's see how we can cope with this. Uh, time's out. Uh, Dragon Ninja, oh, very, very close. No, no, Dragon Ninja got it. So, <clears throat> you got three moves, yeah. I think safe to say we can give you the, the move here, Dragon Ninja. So, uh, you have the black pieces here. Please go ahead, Dragon Ninja. So we have a choice here, right? Dragon Ninja between Rook C8 and F4. So what is your opinion on that? You don't know? No, I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having a bad connection, maybe? Could somebody confirm if there is some problem? I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, your video is a little weird, but I can hear you just fine. I don't know what's, what happens with my video then. No idea. You can just keep your video off. That might make things faster. Uh, okay, I'll turn it off then. Turn video off. Right. Uh, so, I don't know. We can see you. There's a loading board. Then I have some problem with the video. Yeah. I don't know what, what happened today. But, but let me press a 5 then. Let me press a 5. But okay, then I'll, we'll see. We'll see. Do the quiz again. Okay, okay. I'll do the quiz. I'll do the quiz again and, and I'll fix my camera, okay? Uh, let's see here. I see what you mean. That's the topic of today. That's why we're working on this. Okay, Santos, you got it also. We have four winners. It wasn't that difficult. And we have five winners because also Grandmaster Azaro found it in the game. Oh, a lot of people got to move too only. Aha, uh -huh, I can see that. You forget that the bishop is hanging, I think, like uh, somebody said. You forget that the bishop is hanging on a3 in that variation. Maybe. We also have Kugel chess among the winners. Okay. 
Time's up. Let's uh, listen to Aditya. Okay, Aditya, uh, you can move the black pieces here. So when I played F4, I was thinking it's a discover check. Sure. And uh, so that's why I played it. I took out, I like ruled out rook a c1 because after king b1, uh -huh. and then after king b1, when I go f4, then I thought he just go king a1. Sure. But if, that's right. If he's on c2, then he can't go to king a1. Exactly. Um, Good thinking. So, so I was thinking f4, and exactly. then, then a white plays bishop b4. Then I thought about rook a c1 check to force him to b1. Of course. And then when he goes, to, when white goes to b1, I thought uh, about rook takes c1 check, but I decided that after rook takes c1 and rook takes d5, then it's not as forcing because, sub, like, if he, if you go rook takes d5, sure. then he, he actually takes that rook. Then, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Then, then when you take back, and then he takes your queen. You don't even have knight c three. Exactly. You're so you're completely that's, right. So that's bad. So I took on uh, on d five first. Instead of going rook takes c one. Sure. And and then when I took that, that that I think he took my queen, and then I took his a bishop to deflect the rook from guarding the queen, and then I took the queen. sure, sure, sure. So that's it. And as you can see, this ends with a decisive material advantage because we're hitting the rook and we're hitting the bishop at the same time. Uh, was there a problem, a little grandmaster, with the a, with a sound again? Today is a difficult day. I don't know what's going on. I'm okay. I'm lagging. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't know what's, what's going on. The video is weird. I, I don't know. I, I, today is the hard, hard day. Yeah, yeah, reload, 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 re reload, uh, F5. Okay, maybe my video is bad then. I don't know what happened, uh, to be honest. I don't know what's happened. Yes, it's accessible issues, but if you could reload, it would work fine. If you reload, I, re I reload now. But let's finish off this one first. Oh, not me. Okay, so maybe students, you can press F5 on your in uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever you're using, Edge. Uh, press F5, and I think you refresh the page, and maybe that would help uh, connection problems. So for me, F5 doesn't work. I don't know. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I know something about chess, but I don't know much about informatics. So I'm afraid I cannot help you in that field. Control R. Okay, okay. Control R. All right. Uh, I can also leave the, the uh, chat uh, open if that's is that better. You can speak about this together. Uh, how to? Okay, so Control R uh, works, or maybe F5. I don't know. We had some comment here about Bishop Control Double Y. Okay, we had some comment about what was that? Bishop takes E1 in the end. Uh, I don't follow. But here is why to play. Okay, I hope everybody understands what we're speaking about here. We are trying to find the, the right move order here. Just like Aditya said, if we go rook c8 check, we let them escape with the king. So f4 is very logical. Now if you play rook takes d5 here, I can take on g6 and I think there is some difference. I think always the problem is that this bishop is hanging. So this might not work in the very same way or what do you think? Or is there a difference? Rook c8. I'm already getting a little confused here. Could I play maybe queen, queen c3? Is that possible? Maybe that's a difference here. And I keep some more material, maybe. Rook takes and king takes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it appears to me that if perhaps white is not uh, losing here. Because once you take back, I can also take. I mean, if you take here, I can take. And if you take there, yeah, you cannot take there. <laughs> Right, you made it. So, I mean, you have to take that, and it's a total nightmare for white, for black. What did you say, Rayo? You can unmute, Rayo. I don't uh, follow. Uh, 
Here you mean bishop takes e1. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. B because you take here with check. But still, I think I think still I think white is better here. Or, or maybe, maybe you can give check and take take here then. Oh, maybe it's not so clear. I don't know. This is a crazy endgame, but I like white. Or maybe you want to give check first. Maybe you want to give this check first. Maybe that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, th this is not so clear. But okay, white is not losing here, definitely. They have an active king. We cannot claim the opposite. So, I mean, if you compare this riot to the solution, this is not convincing. So the solution, you give check first so that you have this trick with picking up the queen on d4 or something like that in the end after rook takes d5. So again, I think this is the only way to play because, yeah, we saw the other variation. This is what some people were saying, no? But uh, it's not as convincing. Aha! This is not as convincing because we have this situation with two pieces versus rook in the end, I think, and uh, the rook is very strong in this position. So you better avoid this, I think. Uh, the rook can come to, I don't know, over here and, and so on, attack black. All right. Um, anything else? Was this clear? Was it very difficult? You would like to do it again? I can put on the quiz again if you like to just play it. Maybe it was very complex. Yeah, we do it again then so that everybody can uh, work it out uh, the, the right way. I actually do this with, you know, when I work with little kids, I like to have them playing the whole solution again so that they remember. I think that's what Chessable also is about, right? Uh, how do you say? Repeated, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Move repetition and all this stuff. So here we go. Start quiz, but only one minute now because we, you already know the solution, right? What is this spamming? Hey, I'll close the chat. Yeah, sorry. I, th I thought I was doing something good here, but I did something bad. So no more public chat here. You can chat somewhere else. Nice work, L008, Hong Pao, Henry R. Sorchez, Ryu, Kugel Chess, Dragon Ninja, Ang Angel G, 2019, Tactical Magician, Subham, Jake, and so on. Good work. Heavy the hero. Well, you got in six seconds. Yeah, Dragon Ninja, but even then you were only like seventh here. L008 got it in one second, I think. I don't know how that's possible, but sure, fast thinking. Yeah, that's impossible. I don't know. I'm, I can just see the order here, how you, who found it first. Okay, Charles Hua, coagulated cards, good work, unicorn, sprinkles, Aditea. Yeah. How about Kemp? Who is Kemp? I don't know. Me. Uh, Kugel Chess was uh, fourth. Is that very important, the order? I think the important thing is to, to find a solution, not how quickly you can do it. All right. Let's continue. Let's put up. Um, well, would you like something about the opening or something about the end game? You will choose opening or end game. End game. All right. Here we go. I just asked. I just waited for one reply, and I. Aha! I will put up the opening stuff then later on. All right. Something about the end game. I think this is a very interesting end game. Let's see here, you're playing with the white pieces. This is our position. And let's see if we can do this in the right way. Very, very careful, as always, about move order, okay? Very important about the move order. I'll ask you for a total of how many moves? Like seven moves. So I'll give you like 2.30 on this one. Okay, two minutes and a half. No, it's not Kasparov Kramnik, it's just Ryu. This is... Uh, Belos versus Meskovs. Meskovs, I think, is a grandmaster from Latvia. Belos, I'm not really sure who it is. Oh, six moves. Right. Sorry. No, it's not Vladimir Belos. No, it's a different Belos. Maybe some Mikhail Belos. Maybe some brother or son or uncle or whatever. Anyway. Oh, so far, no right answers. Oh, you don't have a microphone. So then I'll speak to Ryo instead. Okay, Ryo, uh, where are you? I'm here. Yeah, 
Ryu got the whole solution. So, Ryu, I'll give you the, the poem. So, what did you think about Rick, King C6, uh, Ryu? What's the problem with King C6? Uh, I, I thought it failed immediately because A4 is just way too quick. Aha. Uh -huh. And if somebody was thinking that you will make a draw by repetition, I'm afraid this is not the case. Because, yeah, I'll just go and take and, you know, good old saying, two pawns on the, uh, how do you say, the sixth row, it's too much for the rook usually, so. That's not going to work. Okay, Ryu, we're listening to you. Uh, oh, that, that, that's your you're moving the uh, using the arrows. How did you do that? I don't know. I Ni nice. Yeah. Okay, please please uh, go on, uh, Ryu. Yeah, rook b1. So threat rook takes b2. I'm pretty much forced to play now king e7 so that I prevent rook takes b2. Now, of course, we bring in the king. And now, uh, yeah, I don't have any many reasonable moves here. I have to play like this, right? Mm. Aha. So now, again, you have to be a little careful. Exactly. I, I hope everybody understands. If you play something like this, I could actually just play here, if I'm not mistaken, a3, and I'll take up the pawn. So, yeah, right. You have to take... What What did I play? I, I don't even remember what did I play in the in the variation. Here, I gave check, right? Yeah, I give check. Okay. And still, you have to be very precise here. And I lost the pawn. Oh, you lost the pawn. Sorry, sorry. I'll, uh, I'll give it back to you. Okay. See, because like, if B8, for example, if B, B8, the pawn hangs, so and C6 is the other one, but then he takes on this one still, and there's no... Aha, uh -huh. exactly. So B8, and rook is on rook E2, the rook's lost, so let's check. And ah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I forgot to say that. Yeah, th this is not good for, for black. Yeah, of course. So... Definitely. I have to go back and... What did you say here, sorry? King C7. Aha. And again, not King B7, I guess. Rook D8, I guess. Exactly, Rook D8. Somebody's writing to me this, but this is not a good idea for... for. Now I think Black is winning, because actually there are two pawns up on the other flank, so bad uh, idea. So just go back with the King, exactly. And here, as you can see, Black cannot really progress either. I will have to carry out the repetition of moves, and it's a draw. All right, guys, I think we have to do this in chessable style. We will have to just repeat it because I've, I'm not confident that everybody has understood. And the best way to understand this, it's actually just to play it over again. So here we go. We will have a look at who can find it in the quickest possible way. Is there somebody who can find it in five seconds? I mean, it's not a matter of finding. It's a matter of simply executing, right? But okay, we'll see. So I think it's six moves. Uh, try to find a way here to... To make a I'm just going to be pressing. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Okay, I gave you too much time, but I will, I will break before. Oh! I, I, you blew it, Rayo. L008 also. My hand. Okay, a lot of people. JD Beast, first place. KK Panu, Tactical Magician, Hong Pao, Subham, Unicorn, Sprinkles, Mega Charts, Rex, Google Chess, Coagulated Courts, Angel 2019. Henry Arsold. Yeah, you were rushing, exactly. Uh -huh. So, this was a little tricky, right? Move orders, it's really tricky area. Chess Knight, you got it also. Okay, good work. The position isn't loading? Really? Maybe press F5, uh, Tory Chess, F5 or whatever. Yeah, uh, what's the name? Uh, Ryo, yeah. Took too fast. <laughs> All right. It's not tricky to find it after you tell the answer. Yeah, I know, but that's the way we can learn by repeating. I, I think so. This is not a bad idea. Oh, I'll just rejoin. Okay, Tori, I'll wait for you. Okay, good work. I think I will cancel here because everybody found it. So, I'll just mute everyone. So, Everybody understands these pawns are little monsters. We have to fight against them. So rook b1 is the right choice so that we can play rook takes b2 later on. King e7, king c6, black's only reasonable a4. We're just in time to uh, complicate them. No, I blew it myself. Oh, look, look, I got it wrong. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to think here. and That was a very bad mistake, right? I have to play. I don't even remember now. How was the solution? King c7, it was okay. I must say this is confusing. Yeah, we, we, we forgot to mention one thing, right? Yeah, now I know why, because we forgot to speak about this little variation. That's a different, an important uh, idea. 
Yeah, because else white is lost. And here white is winning because, yeah, they will queen. So th that's also good to see. So something like that happened in the game, you know. Uh, but it was a draw. I mean, they didn't uh, lose uh, black. It was a draw. But it was something about this topic. What happened in the game? Oh, I see. In the game they played, let's see here. They played in the game after rook b1. Black played king e7. And after king c6. Oh, I see. Black played rook d8. But I didn't want to put this in the in the answer because uh this is too easy no this is too easy for you so you just take i mean you just give check and then the king must go and then you just go back and then it's a it's a perpetual here or what you say re repeat the moves why is king b8 bad why is king b8 bad when is king b8 oh you mean here um king b8 is bad because i take your pawn or what are we speaking about and now i'm queening so that's why you cannot play like that that's what you need is a little detail here after a3 you have to play rook e1 but then you win the game so summing up uh, bottom line very complex stuff uh, past pawns on both sides no you don't you don't win i don't follow because after king f6 rook e1 check Wait, no. Oh, you, I don't win. You mean here after after rookie one check? Why don't mm -hmm. I win? Because king f six. Uh, and then you take, and then he goes a two. Oh wait, I forgot yeah. some check. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, yeah, white is white is not winning here. Anyway, I think we had enough of this end game. Let's uh, put something from the opening instead. Okay. I came across this little variation the other day. Let's see if you know about it. Maybe you already know about this stuff. Uh, we'll see. Sorry. Courses. All right. So, I don't know if you guys play this stuff. Uh, like a Ragosin with the black pieces. I think the Ragosin is not as strong when white has not committed knight f3. Correct me if I'm wrong. You usually play bishop e4 when white has played something like, I mean, here, for example, if you play knight f3. I think here the, the Ragosin is more testing when you can get knight e4 in and so on. But okay, I'm not an expert here at all. So bishop d5, bishop e4, and now white can try to do without knight f3. They can play here e3, and if black continues in the same same style with h6, bishop h4, g5. I think there was a game by Nepomniosi like this not so long time ago. Bishop g3, knight e4. Still, it's very interesting. But you can see that white can profit from not playing knight f3. So they could play here the move queen c2. Although I think that I have played this move myself. I think this is also solid. Oh, I tried this in a bullet game. Yeah, with black. I, I don't think it's so promising, but okay. It's still, it's just, it should be possible to play. Anyway, that was not my intention here. Queen c2 and h5. So h4 is coming up. However, white played the move bishop d3. And black hurried to play h4. Okay, things are getting more complex. At this point, I would like you to find the best way to solve this situation with white pieces. And as always, you have to be very careful with the move order. Okay, so that's... What this is about, I'll just ask for five moves here. All right, here we go. Why to play and uh, get the upper hand, okay? Very close to Subham, but uh, I think you will lose material. Uh, Guinea pig, that's not a good idea, I'm afraid. You will have problems on the H-file. Adi Chess, I simply don't understand that move. Sorry. Henry Arsol, l 0 ADB is Robo. That's not correct, I'm afraid. You will be pissed down, and I don't think my king is in such big trouble. You still have a lot of time, so take your time, work out the move order, okay? You're a pissed down after I take back, Henry. Or what am I missing? No, but I, I don't let you take the rook, Henry. I won't let you take the rook. Why is... Yeah, Safa, we will speak about this. We will speak about this. Okay, I have, I have no winner yet here. Who is close? Yeah, it says Ryu. That's a good idea, but the move order, I'm afraid it's not the optimal move order. We will speak about this. Okay, tough case. Was it so hard? No, it's not difficult, a tactical magician. It's not difficult. I tried it on other students and they found it. So I don't think it's it's that difficult. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, Greg Shahed, you're very close. But I think you can improve that move order. 
And you know, the funny thing about this puzzle is that all this is actually opening theory. <laughs> it has already been played, funnily enough. Control. Sh should I click Control double Y? What is Control? What is Control double Y? I don't know what is that. Anyone? Refresh? I don't follow. I know what the keyboard shortcut is, but why should I do that? I can press F5 if you like. Or uh, what is Control Y? Anyway. I don't understand. Um, but I do understand this, this position. So let's check this together. Some people were saying Bishop takes E4, but that can't be right because I'll take on G3 and there is Rook takes H2, like that old, you know, that good old uh, opening trap when you, you know, in the Karokan, right? Everybody knows? Do I have to, do I have to show it? If you don't know it, I'll show it right now. It's my duty as a coach to show you this famous opening trap. I, I guess 80% of you have seen it, but for the rest, I'm happy to, to provide it. So this is that famous opening trap. No, I, I did it in the wrong way already. Sorry, it's bishop d5 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this, right? h4, bishop takes, h3. Right. I guess you all of you know about this uh, trap. Bishop e5. So, black to play and win. Should we have a quiz here also? I think we could, no? We could have a quiz here. Yeah, okay, but uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm improvising here. I hope I get the right move order. We'll see. We'll see if I can get it the right move order. Um, let's see. Don't uh, don't get angry if I get this wrong. But I think I, I got it right. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is also move order, of course. Exactly. Did I... Did I execute it wrong? No, Chess Ryu and L008 and Tactical Magician, they are with me. Okay, in the other team we have Jay the Beast, Aditya, Jake, and Hong Pao. But I think you guys missed the move order here. You can't. You can't do it in the other way. I don't think so. You have a problem there, guys. So, Subham, Adi Chess, Unicorn, Heavy the Hero, Guinea Pig, you also got it. Kiki Panu also got it. Yeah, this is a very famous uh, opening trap. When I was a kid, I learned about this some hundred years ago. Pikachu also got it. Okay, we have a lot of winners here. Aha. So I just came to think of this because we had this situation with the pawn on h2. Yeah. Should I wait for all of you here? Some people take on h2, people take on f2, but then we're off the track here, I'm afraid. Chess Knight, you got it. All right. I think most people already answered, so I will just cancel the quiz unless somebody uh, objects. Cancel? You want to continue? Oh, still doing. Okay, okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. The human person, you got it. Charles Hua, you got it. I mean, if you spend time on this, it's excellent. That's how you should approach this, of course. Calculation is about taking your time, being disciplined, and checking different move orders. It's not a good idea to rush. It's just that we have here limited uh, duration of this of this training so that's why i'm rushing a little okay all right i think we'll break there so you can tell us about this uh, tactical magician you can uh, show us the solution here on this one Black pieces. If you like, else I can ask somebody else. Okay, no reply from Tactical Magician. We'll ask L008. Hi. Hi. What, ha what happened? Uh, okay, so the right move is Ruck takes H2. Um, the point is that the H pawn is uh, really close to promotion, so I can play queen to a5 check. And after queen to 2 or c3, I can just take this, and after sure. queen takes, uh, you take uh -huh. on h2. 
But yes. uh, one question for you, tactical magician. Is this the only right move order or isn't it the same thing if I give check first on... It's the same thing, right? If I give check here. Um, no. Queen d2. <laughs> exactly. Now we can play queen d2. And yeah. now, as you can see, now black doesn't have time to take. I mean, you can take, but now I'm not committed to taking. So white could play something else here, like castles. Then you're going to have to resign soon. <laughs> yeah, in the other variation, they will have to resign. But here, I don't think they will yeah. resign. They, they will rather... Now, now you have to resign. <laughs> I have to resign. I don't think so. I don't. Black will no, continue no, no. to play, but maybe. No, yeah. But it's it, it's it's very ugly for it's very ugly it's for for white yeah. for it's black. Terrible. I mean, it's, it's terrible. Knight f3, maybe I don't know some e6, knight f5. I mean, if, if it was a bullet game, I would play with this like this with white. What did Ryo said? It takes f2. When is that? We are winning. Who is winning? I don't follow. No. Oh, you're gonna take here. You mean? <laughs> I see. Oh, okay. Nice point, Rayo. How is material? You're winning the game there? Oh, I didn't see that one, actually. That's nice, actually. So it works. Okay, guys. Yeah, Please forgive me. I didn't know you could, you, I didn't know you could play it in that way. Oh, you can take on F2. Okay, okay. Fair enough. But it's more pretty the other way. I think it works. I think it works, yeah. Now that I... I think it works. King E2. Yeah, exactly. That might be. Now Rook takes H2. What's I don't know what's going on here, guys. No, this doesn't. Oh, work. sorry, B4. Oh, B4, B4. Okay, I can see yeah. the chat here. B4. It's still very bad. It's very bad. It, it, it's still very bad for yeah. But now at least you cannot sack, so I have to play mm -hmm. king e two. That's what you mean, Queen guys. Queen d two works. Queen d two works too. I think. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Never mind. No, it doesn't work. But king e two works. No. So yeah, how does Aditya ask why does GF work? Because you're deflecting the king from the defense of the queen, and, and then you just pick up the knight with the knight, I guess. Well, no, no, now it's yeah with the knight. <laughs> now it's a piece up for black, so that's why it works, I guess. Yes. But it, but if you play before, the, actually you make it a little more difficult for black. That's true. So I mean, nobody is doubting that black is better here, but it's not as good as the other variation. Or does anybody has something to say about this? You will win anyway. Rook takes h2. Rook takes queen b5. I don't know what's going on here, but we're off. I mean, I can play queen d3 here, and I can suffer in this endgame, can't I? Yeah, so, I mean, this is not so clear, or, or whatever. Oh, queen takes e5, you're fooling me here. Oh, I can see. Nice, nice, uh, nice trick. Uh, but I cannot somehow bury your rook, something like that. I don't know what's going on here, guys. This is just too much. Rook d1, and I am threatening mate. I play e6. I don't know. Is, is this... Do we have complete control here? I don't know what's going on. I think white is fairly active here. Or did I miss something? I think if we... It's simp exactly add your chest. The other is much cleaner. Yeah, exactly. The other variation is much cleaner. We start by playing here. Rook takes h2, committing them to play rook takes h2. And then only then... We carry out this main idea. Yeah. Okay. I think we can. It's safe to say we have understood this now, and we can continue with the variation that we were looking at. So we're back in the variations of the ragos in here. White pieces. Black played h4. As you can see, the bishop is in there. That's how we started to speak about this. Yeah. Bishop takes. This is not a good idea for black for white because now rook takes h2 is coming. So that's rejected. We have to start with the move bishop e5. So basically, we have some kind of uh, soup here, you know. We have like, we're cooking here. We have this ingredient, we have that ingredient, we have that ingredient. Maybe we have some D5 at some point, we don't know yet. But these are the ingredients, and we have to try to prepare the soup in the right way. So Bishop E5 was played, and uh, Black plays here F6, of course, the only testing move. So here, a lot of people, they want to play. How is it? Bishop takes, pawn takes. Queen takes, and they're claiming that they're fine here. I don't think so. I think black is better here. I'll just play here king f7. And I'm a piece up, right? You have two pawns, but I'm a piece up. So I can play rook g8 next turn here. Queen e7 is cleaner? How can you play queen e7 if your rook is hanging on h8? I don't follow. So this is not possible for white, or it's not convincing. Instead of d takes e5, I, I don't follow. Oh, you want to play queen e7 here, but then if I play queen g6, what are you going to play? I can maybe save my bishop over there, or you're trapping it somehow? I don't follow Mega Charles Rex. How is your variation working?
it works queen f7 what if i take on f6 i must say i'm confused here i feel like i'm winning two pawns with white for nothing let me know if i'm got something wrong i don't think this is the right solution so we go back again we arrived at this position right black played f6 so should we do the quiz again any question let's do it again no we don't do it again okay so then anyone tell me what's the solution here again okay again all right we'll do it again chessable learning here we go it's why to play try to find a way in which you can get some advantage here with the white pieces using a very precise move order okay this shouldn't be difficult okay here we go Okay, KK Panu, you got it. That's it. We have a winner. Nice. Chess Rayo, second place. We have some people who are very close. Um, Angel, that's a good idea, but I think you got the move order wrong here. I'll play, well, I'll tell you later. But there is a problem with the move order if you play in that way. A lot of people want to play like that. Angel, Pikachu, L008, Aditya, Guinea Pig. I'm sorry, it's the wrong um, track there. I'm sorry. We only have two winners so far. Well, that move is it's too too much imagination here, Subham and Google Chess, to take that pawn. Do you think it works, really? I'm afraid there is some Queen A5 in the end. Maybe. I think so, yeah. Queen A5 looked like a good idea for Black in the end. Uh, information for Subham and Google Chess. All right. We have only two winners. Well, this was difficult. Okay, three winners, coagulated cards also. All right, difficult one. Time's up. Let's listen to KK Panu. Where is KK Panu? Uh, all right, go for it. I don't want to speak. Okay, uh, co who got it? Co coagulated cards, I think, also got it. Coagulated cards. What is coagulated cards? I can't find the... I think already left, no? Coagulated cards. I can't see... I can't see this person here. So, who else got it? Ryo got it? You got it or no? No. I think I got it. Okay, so you can do it then. All right, here we go. Okay, so, I mean, the first time I got it wrong, because... Um... All right. First of all, yeah, we... we... Okay. Yeah. Sure. Here, um, here. I mean, I originally wanted Queen A four, Knight C six, Knight C six, and E five. Uh huh. Uh, I think I think why I'm wrong probably is Bishop C three, Bishop C three, Queen D five. Exactly. That that's right. right. You, you take it, play queen d five, and if white takes, for example, what would black play? Oh, you would castle. So. I think you castle. But you know, Ryo, when I looked at this in the first place, I got it wrong. This is very good for black, of course. A lot of development, maybe h three is coming up, and so on. But the first time I looked at this, let me tell you that I got it wrong. I thought I could play queen takes d five straight away, but uh, that's not uh, a good idea, you know. Aha, because now I can take take here, and if they play like this, actually white can take here, if I'm not mistaken. And it it becomes more complex now. Because now, yeah, we have the situation with the queen hanging, so uh, it's not convincing. <laughs> or even the move that... Uh, where is Tactical Magician? No, not here. In another variation, you have that move. I don't follow Tactical Magician. What do you mean? I don't follow. Anyway. So you're right, uh, Rayo. It's better to take first on c3, and then you take on on d5, and black is perfectly fine. 
better in that position. So, sorry, Rayo, I interrupted you. You can continue. Okay, so that's why you play d5 first. All right. You play d5 first. Yeah. And now it's a bit different because yes. Yes, if, if I now take, I mean, take here is not the same thing anymore. Here there is a very nice little variation. Let's see if you can find it. Okay, Pikachu, we will speak about Bishop takes 7 later on. See, All right, go for see, it, Rayo. Yeah, Cynthia is the last one. Queen A4 and they're just supposed to that line. But it's not convincing, right? We we agree that it's not... May, maybe you can play this, yeah, maybe... You, okay, okay, fair to say, yeah, you could play like this. Well, <laughs> you're making me doubt now. I, I'm not really convinced. Maybe this is okay for white then, like that. But how is material here? If I, It's equal, right? I take and I cast all... You still have some issues, I think, here with the with the white pieces here. Black is still a bit more active here, I would say. But you can play in a better way here. After uh, in this variation, you can play in a very nice way here with white. So don't use this check. You don't need it anymore. I'll just take on six. Videos. Aha! And, and here you have the nice move, which is surprising. I think tactical magician saw this one. There is a nice little tactical move here, like tactics serving strategy, something like that. Exactly, that's the move. Very nice. So black is not lost, of course, but they have to take here. And unfortunately, once white takes back, now we cannot use the rook in this way because rook d1 is coming. So we have to play something like rook e8 instead. But this is uh, ugly for black now. It's ugly. You can play even rook d1 and white is much better. So, oh, queen f6 as tactical magician. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. Yeah, qu yeah queen f6 then. Perfectly fine, also. So this is not, not to be played with black. So what black has to play here after Rayo's move d5 is to take on e5 instead. Yeah, and then it's easy, right? Now we can use the, the same idea exactly. And now black is just uh, it's just better for white now. Uh, Knight c6 is is ugly for this is ugly for black. The pawn will hang here, and yeah, what to play with black? Not nice for black anymore, right? Castles, there is maybe queen check and take on b7, I think. Uh, and what else to play? I think the best move for black here is actually to play c6. But still, uh, white is better here in this uh, in this variation. You can just take and... Yeah, what would you play then, Ryu? Just take back the pawn, right? Yeah, for example... Um, yeah, I don't want one castle, yeah, I'll just one castle. Yeah, maybe you can cast along also. Yeah, and knight c6 and just put the queen somewhere, queen c5 or, or whatever, queen b5. I don't know which you like the most. Queen b5, okay. So, fair enough. This is already better for white. We can play king b1 next turn, and black, white should be better here. Or even, I think you can play just immediately a queen b5, check, and then take on d5. And it should be a nice endgame for white, uh, I, I think. Uh, black has some space, but also they have weaknesses. So... Okay, thanks, Rayo. Great work. So what we have seen here is that white can actually get an advantage here, but you have to play in a very disciplined way. We should be five, and after f6, you should take first, and here we have the difficult move. Most of us are looking at queen a4, maybe queen takes e4, uh, but only this is the way we can work this out with d5 first. Somehow we need them to commit with this move, only then we give check. Okay, what did you say here? Bishop takes c7, Pikachu. When do you want to play bishop takes c7? Here? If you play this here, I'll take, you play queen a4, I play knight c6, and you play d5. That's the variation that I was saying, that I have queen a5. I don't know if that's what you mean. Or in some other variation, maybe. That I saw from a4, this variation. Was it that, or was it... Yeah, so it's not working, really. So I think the only way to get an advantage here is like Ryo is saying. We have to take and play this move d5. It's not... Easy to explain exactly why this works, but somehow you want to commit them. They have to commit first here. Uh, I hope this is understandable, guys. Uh, I hope this example is not not too difficult. So maybe we should uh, look for some last uh, thing here. What do you think? A last example maybe for today. Uh, I'll bring up the last one. Oh, again? You want to do this again? <laughs> should we do it again? Really? Okay, I'll give it for you one minute then. All right, one minute to just to see if you if you you're awake here. Yeah, we do now uh, repetition training here. Let's see if you can do this in in one minute. Uh, let's see, or maybe thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty sec, forty seconds. Okay, here we go. Okay, who is fastest? 
Tactical Magician, Chess Ryu, Hong Pao, Chess Knight, L008, Subham Santos. Yeah, Tactical Magician won. That's true. You were the fastest one. But the important thing is to, to find it over the board. There is more terrain transmission rooms. Uh -huh. Okay, a lot of people found it. Great. Uh, I don't have to, even have to announce, I guess, who found it. So most people found it very quickly. That's great. If you played Queen A4 on move 3, <coughs> I'm sorry. It's very logical. But somehow we lose some of the flexibility that we wanted in this variation. So just for the record, if you play uh, after the move, Bishop e5, f6, bishop takes, pawn takes. If you play queen a4, you lose some flexibility here after knight c6, d5, like we were discussing here. I don't have to uh, weaken my pawn structure here. I can take, like we were saying, and take on d5. And we were discussing that this was just fine for black. So that's why you shouldn't play like this. Uh, white is in trouble here, light squares and so on. All right. I'll bring up the last example for today, if you don't mind. Um, I hope for next time that the technology will work out better. Uh, let's see here. So this is a very nice example by Grandmaster Krasenkov with the white pieces. I like this example very much. So we'll see if you can find it. Uh, you have to be very careful, as always, with the move order. There is especially one move which I think is difficult to find. But OK, I trust you. I'm pretty sure you will find it. Very, very beautiful variation, in my opinion. Let's see if you can also find it. So I'll give you for this mission two minutes and a half so that you have some time to think about this. All right, here we go. Good luck. All right, uh, closest one is uh, Dragon Ninja and uh, Blue Ocean. You're very close. Uh, Hong Pao got it. Okay, good work, Hong Pao. We have a winner. Nice. So very close, Dragon Ninja. And Blue Ocean, Charles Hua, Santos, Kiki Pano. You're missing the... I mean, you could repeat moves, of course, but I'm asking you for the solution. Okay, Subham, you got it also. Great work. Nice. So let's listen to Hong Pao. You got it, Hong Pao. You play with the white pieces here. All right, so I played rook takes c5. And after queen takes c5, rook c1. And I'm threatening to checkmate with rook c8. So black has to block with rook c4. Sure. And then um, you play queen d8 check first. The idea is to play rook d1 and then rook d8. But here the problem is black can block with rook d4 and it's just repeating. So exactly. instead of playing rook d1, you play queen d8 check first. Very and nice. King g7, you play rook d1, and you're threatening like queen f6 and rook d8. Uh, you're also threatening queen g5 and rook d8. So after the computers move queen e5, there's queen g5 and then rook d8 checkmate. Exactly. I don't know if, any other move I could play. Probably if you ask Stockfish, it, it would play something like, I don't know, rook d4 or whatever. But I thought this was the best to try to check that you have understood it. So excellent work, Hong Pao. That's exactly what happened in the game. So the difficult move here is, I would say, rook d1. I still remember this example is like 20 years ago uh, when I saw this example. Uh, and I was very, very impressed by this uh, move order because I would say, I don't know what, what you guys think, but I would say that this move, queen d8, is not natural. You would say that, okay, I have this in the pocket. I don't want to commit this check right now. However, that's actually like Hong Pao is saying is the only way to make this work because else we can simply not bring in the rook. So actually you can win again, but you have to repeat moves <laughs> and then you can play it. So that's the only way you can play. Rook t1, it looks weird to play like this, but it's the only way move order you can use because queen uh, g5 and rook d8. So I guess that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope for next time uh, technology will... Oh, sh we don't have to play this again. Oh, maybe we should. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We'll do this just for, for re repetitive learning. Let's see here again. All right, here we go. Let's see if you have... Learned from Hong Pao's explication, explanation here. Let's see here if you can fix this. Let's see. All right. Here we go. I'll give you just 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Everybody found it. Great, great, great work. Fast learners. Uh, Hong Pao was number one. Chess Ryu number two. Tactical Magician number three and so on. Uh-huh. But it doesn't matter if you do it in two seconds or in 10 seconds or in one minute. The important thing is that you find it, right? So that's basically what move orders is about. Uh, one last question, guys. Would you like uh, another of these next turn, uh, this uh, this topic, or should we switch subject already? Something more 
strategy maybe or what would you like switch okay <laughs> i'll switch them yeah yeah strategy says just right yeah yeah we will look for some strategy yeah maybe we, it's too much move orders here all right guys thanks a lot see you next time it has been a pleasure bye bye have a nice evening